Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we are going to discuss the following question which says that Evaluate limit x tends to pi by 2 square root of 2 minus sine of x minus 1 whole upon pi by 2 minus x whole raised to power 2 L. Hopital's rule states that if f of x and g of x are the functions such that f of a is equal to 0 and g of a is equal to 0 then limit x tends to a f of x by g of x is equal to limit x tends to a f dash of x by g dash of x with this key idea let us proceed with the solution we are to find the value of the expression limit x tends to pi by 2 square root of 2 minus sine of x minus 1 whole upon pi by 2 minus x whole raised to pi 2 or we can write it as limit x tends to pi by 2 2 minus sine of x raised to power 1 by 2 minus 1 upon pi by 2 minus x raised to power 2. Now if we put the value of x as pi by 2 in this expression then we get 2 minus sine of pi by 2 raised to power 1 by 2 minus 1 upon pi by 2 minus pi by 2 the whole square which is equal to 2 minus sine pi by 2 is 1 raised to power 1 by 2 minus 1 upon 0 which is equal to 1 raised to power 1 by 2 which is 1 minus of 1 by 0 that is 0 by 0 so this is of 0 by 0 form now according to L. Hopital's rule if f of x and g of x are the two functions such that f of a is equal to 0 and g of a is equal to 0 then limit x tends to a f of x upon g of x is equal to limit x tends to a f dash x upon g dash x now applying L. Hopital's rule we have limit x tends to pi by 2 differential of the numerator with respect to x that is differentiating 2 minus sine of x raised to power 1 by 2 with respect to x we get 1 by 2 into 2 minus sine of x raised to power minus 1 by 2 into differential of minus of sine of x with respect to x that is minus of cos of x minus differential of 1 with respect to x that is 0 whole upon differential of pi by 2 minus x the whole square with respect to x that is 2 into pi by 2 minus x into differential of minus x with respect to x that is minus 1 which can be written as limit x tends to pi by 2 minus of 2 minus sine of x raised to pi minus 1 by 2 into cos of x whole upon minus 4 into pi by 2 minus of x which is equal to limit x tends to pi by 2 2 minus sine of x raised to power minus 1 by 2 into cos of x 
फोर अपॉन फोर इंटू फाइव बाय टू माइनस सिक्स नाउ इफ यू पुट द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स एस फाइव बाय टू इन दिस एक्सप्रेशन वी गेट टू माइनस साइन फाइव बाय टू होल रेस टू पावर माइनस वन बाय टू इंटू कॉस ऑफ फाइव बाय टू होल अपॉन फोर इंटू फाइव बाय टू माइनस फाइव बाय टू सो वी हैव टू माइनस साइन फाइव बाय टू एंड साइन फाइव बाय टू इज वन देर फोर टू माइनस वन रेस टू पावर माइनस वन बाय टू इंटू कॉस फाइव बाय टू विच इज जीरो अपॉन फोर इंटू फाइव बाय टू माइनस फाइव बाय टू दैट इज फोर इंटू जीरो therefore in the numerator we have 2 minus 1 raised to power minus 1 by 2 into 0 which is 0 upon 4 into 0 which is also 0 so this is of 0 by 0 form so again applying the l hopital's rule we have limit x tends to pi by 2 now we'll take differential of the numerator with respect to x by product rule we take differential of the numerator with respect to x by product rule so first we take the differential of 2 minus sin of x raised to power minus 1 by 2 with respect to x that is minus 1 by 2 into 2 minus sin of x raised to power minus 3 by 2 into differential of minus of sin of x that is minus of cos of x into cos x plus 2 minus sin of x Raise to power minus one by two into differential of cos of x, that is minus sine of x, whole upon differential of four into pi by two minus x with respect to x, that is four into minus one. So we can write limit x tends to pi by two one by two. Into cos square of x into 2 minus sine of x raised to power minus 3 by 2 minus of sine of x into 2 minus sine of x raised to power minus 1 by 2 whole upon minus of 4. Now if we put the value of x as pi by 2 in this expression, we get 1 by 2. cos square of pi by 2 2 minus sin of pi by 2 raised to power minus 3 by 2 minus of sin pi by 2 2 minus sin of pi by 2 raised to power minus 1 by 2 whole upon minus 4 which is equal to 1 by 2 into cos square of pi by 2 is 0 Into 2 minus sine of pi by 2 is 1 raised to power minus 3 by 2 minus of sine of pi by 2 is 1 into 2 minus sine of pi by 2 is 1 raised to power minus 1 by 2 whole upon minus of 4 which is equal to 1 by 2 into 0 into 2 minus 1 raised to power minus 3 by 2. Is zero minus of one into two minus one that is one raised to power minus one by two by minus four, which is equal to minus one into one raised to power minus one by two is one upon minus four, which is equal to minus one by minus four that is one upon four. Therefore, the value of the expression limit. x tends to pi by 2 square root of 2 minus sin of x minus 1 whole upon pi by 2 minus x whole square is equal to 1 upon 4 which is the required answer 
This completes our session. Hope you enjoyed this session.